Believing oneself to be perfect is often the sign of a delusional mind. Oh, look at here. Now that TriMet Tracy is here, we continue our evening as we always do on carry time. <laughs> Seriously, Carrie, could you try to be on time once in a while? You blown me off twice today. Why are you sitting so close to me? I mean, can you just ride the bus like a normal person? Do you have to talk to everybody on the bus? I don't talk to everyone. There are plenty of weirdos, hippies, freaks, and other Portlandia folk that I filter out. You just go right along with your special little self, and I'll try not to tell everybody that you're just a poser who talks nothing but trash. Before, I knew nothing of the passengers on public transit. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't sit in this chair and get loaded onto buses for fun, young lady. You guys are insane. <laughs> I guess I should feel honored with all this preferential treatment. No, doll. He died in 1976 from the cough. I'm sorry, I didn't know. They were merely passing faces in the lane next to me at Stoplight USA. She's quite the storyteller. I mean, I feel like I'm the one meeting these people. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. It'll be you and OJ and Ted Bundy. It's not safe, Carrie. Some new should have kept his mouth shut. I imagine this is what a uh, peeping Tom kind of feels like. <laughs> Hey, I know you. You're the writer, right? Eric? Random chance seems to have operated in my favor. A book about you and the people you've met. Seeing a pair of gentlemen left that for you earlier. And with the first link, the chain was forged. Don't you see? Through your eyes, you are exposing the underbelly of public transport. It seem like you're seeking the answer to a question you haven't formed yet. Society has such a warped view of what riding the bus is all about. You are going to show them everything it isn't. It is the true pockmarked face of public transport in our society. There's an old saying that fortune favors the bold. 